Hi, hello, what's up, guys? We are back again with another problem. Today's question is called short encoding of words. We are given an array called words, which contains letters. Not letters exactly. It contains word, uh, words, uh, which are strings. So how do we uh, encode them? Is we take a word, we put a hash after that word, then we take another word, then we put another hash after that, and we do and we do this for all the words present in this array. Uh, but there's a way to shorten this encoding we have a final encoding like this just to make you understand so how can we shorten this is if let's say a word if for in this example this a word is a suffix of another word so or substring so this me can be included in this time so we don't need another separate me slash me hash for this we can include it in time hash itself as you can see in this example uh, this is for time this is for me and this is for ball so instead of using the words uh, time that contains four letters me that contains two letters and uh, bell that again contains four letters that makes up uh, 10 of it we can what we can do is we can skip me so we have 4 plus 4 and plus 2 hashes instead of 3 hashes that means we have 10 words in total and that's it we have to return how many words can we can form so as you can see from this problem this is nothing but we need to find how and remove the suffixes from the uh, array if this is a suffix of this we need to remove this if this is a suffix of this it will sure be a suffix of this and we need to remove this so how are we going to do that from removing or entering the best thing that we can use is a hash map because it has great time complexity as in that so we can create a hash not map sorry hash set because removing and entering elements in a set and making sure they are unique is bad is uh, much more efficient using a hash set and what we'll do is we'll use this function called array dot as list and we'll pass our uh, word array into it we are done with this now what we need to do is for each word uh, 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 present in this words array we need to check if another word uh, if there is a word for each of its substring let me show you how and i equals to one and not zero i'll let you know why less than word dot length we use we need to use brackets here because it's a string and i plus plus what we are going to do here is from our set we will remove if there is another word such that that word is a sub string uh, let me type it sub string of size k of the particular size i of this particular word so if there is a sub string of size 1 present in this words array it will be removed size 2 it will be removed 3 4 and so on but this whole word itself won't be removed because we are just checking till words dot size uh, less than one and not the whole size since we have done it now what we need to do is we need to return the mm, letters present in our hash coding so we won't be making another code encoding here we'll just count how many letters are there how many words with the size of the words present in our set we'll add one to it because we need our hash to be there so how are we going to do that is i'll create a variable called answer a n s w -E yeah it will start from zero then for each string i'll also call it word present in our set what we want to do is we want its size so answer plus equals to word dot length and plus one for our hash to be uh, made there 
and then simply we'll return our answer that's it uh, our answer will contain 4 plus 4 plus 1 that is 10 and it works let's submit the code and it will work for sure I had to look off for this method uh, in the solution uh, using a hash map a bit before that I wasn't using a hash map so it got kind of messy there and also I wasn't using this substring so I was checking it manually if there's present or not so it was taking a huge amount of time although time wasn't a concern here but still this method is way efficient and the best one thank you so much for watching guys